Hello besties and welcome back to part 5 of the Rosewood Legacy. I hope everyone is doing well and if you are new here, welcome. My name is Abby. If you're coming back and you've been here before, welcome back. It's lovely to see you. Um, here we go with the part 5. So if you have missed the previous part, I will pop the link to the previous part in the description below. But just to give us a quick rundown, we now actually have a little gorgeous puppy um, called Henry and we also are actually expecting a baby. So that's pretty, pretty exciting guys. That's pretty exciting. So yeah, let's jump straight in. And okay, so here we are. We are back with the lovely Brielle, Noah and Henry who actually, I think, oh, well, that's a good start. Oh lord, guys, what is happening? Also, this garden's kind of just been abandoned, hasn't it? I should probably actually get on that. But yeah, we're back, guys. We're back with some more of the Rosewood Legacy. Um, obviously, Brielle is feeling a little bit rough today. I think she has a bit of morning sickness, or at least she did a minute ago. She was kind of like doing the whole like nausea reaction kind of thing. So I think she is kind of struggling a bit today. But hopefully when she wakes up, it, she'll feel better, hopefully. Well, we'll see but we may need to go for a doctor checkup today. We need to go for the scan. So that's probably what we're gonna do today. So it is actually the first day of summer. Um, Noah hasn't got work for five hours, so we've got time to actually go for the scan. And she's actually off for two days, so it gives us a chance to work on our logic skill and whatnot. I think the baby is definitely pushing on her bladder because she keeps needing to pee constantly. And then I'm gonna get her to come and make some breakfast for the two of them. And we can only make an acai bowl, so I'm just gonna get her to do that. And I'm also gonna get Noah up as well, because he is also feeling pretty, uh, like he needs the loo and he needs to have a shower and such. And he's also really hungry. So hopefully by the time he gets out, the food shall be ready. I can't get over how pretty Brielle is. Like she's actually stunning. So pretty. Is Henry still in the pile of trash? Yep, yes he is. Oh, Noah, go have a shower, you stinky. You stinky. Okay, I'm gonna eat a serving of that and then I'll get him to grab a serving when he gets back out. Okay, so she wants to read to a child for two hours. Okay, so we can't do any of these things until she has the baby anyway, so that's that's fine. Um, I think I actually have it on like a shorter pregnancy because of my nightmare legacy challenge, so it may have slightly changed the speed at which she's pregnant. So I think I'm just gonna go with it for now. Uh, Brielle seems to be enjoying the song. Should be, she embrace that she likes classical music? Yeah, sure. Why not? If you like it, Brielle, go for it. All right, let's just get this cleaned up. And then we need to actually call our obstetrician, which is actually part of the Realistic Birth mod um, by Panda Sama. So if you haven't already seen that, you need to definitely go get it because I recommend it. It's one of the best mods that I have. Um, so I think we're gonna do a home birth. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking. I think that'd be quite cute, like the two of them being here when they have the baby. And I, yeah, I think that's kind of the vibe I want to go for. Uh, it might be kind of scary because it is a first baby, but we're gonna go with it. She will have a midwife with us, so that's fine. Right, let's go and get this uh, ultrasound done because we need to check that the baby is healthy. And here we are, guys. We are officially at the hospital, ready to have the scan. So finally actually getting to see their cute little baby. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. Oh, look at Noah. They're so happy. But look, guys. Little healthy baby. He's just like asking questions like, are we all good? Is she healthy? Like, you know? Wait, did we find out what we're having? Oh, we're having a girl! Okay, so it says congratulations. Based on the ultrasound scan, it looks like you're expecting one healthy baby. Okay, thank God it's not twins. Everything looks good so far, but we'll continue to monitor your pregnancy and the baby's development to make sure everything stays on track. This is an exciting time and we're here to support you every step of the way. Okay, excellent. So that is awesome. At least we know now that baby's fine. And it's also a girl. So the, we're now going to have to actually... Um, redecorate the nursery because we made it in like the style of it being like a boy i don't know why i did that but you know and i mean girls can have dino bedrooms as well if they wish but i think i'm going to go for something a bit more uh more neutral i think and at least that way then the kid can decide their own interests and such that's not just being like forced on them you know so that's kind of what i'm thinking so we do actually have quite a decent amount of money so what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly give this room 
a little bit of a makeover um, as it's not really the vibe that I am now feeling. Now we're definitely going to use this pack um, in the future because it is a really, really good pack. So, and it is the SYB Dino pack by Sibubu or no, Sibulet. Sibulet. You can see the links and stuff um, just there in the description of that item. Oh, that's kind of cute. Okay, actually, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to put this um, in the little garden area. It's just like a little addition to the garden. Okay, so that is officially um, the house pretty much done, ready for the baby. So this is the nursery. 
if uh, you want to see. It's very cute. So this will be little Baba's room once she turns into an infant. But for the time being, um, she is just going to be in Brielle and Noah's room, just in her little bassinet. Um, I've also made a couple of changes downstairs. I added in the high chair and I've also added in a crib and this little uh, toddler seat, which if you want to know who this is by, yes, yeah, so this is the toddler swing. I believe it's by Pandasama as well. The person who has also made the uh, realistic birth mod, what I was recommending earlier. If you don't already have that, you definitely need it because it's such a good mod. But yeah, I believe they made that as well. So if you are interested. Okay, and I'm pretty sure yeah here we go okay so we've actually got the ultrasound picture now for the baby so what i'm thinking of doing is getting the frame for it i think there's actually one specifically for it so if i just put ultrasound yep here we go so if i get the blue one i don't know why i went for blue i just really like the color so i'm gonna pop that there put the ultrasound in and then you can add the baby name. So once we have the baby and we know what we're gonna call it, then we'll pop the baby name in there. And you know what? We're gonna use the facial mask that Noah kindly bought for her for Valentine's Day. Um, pop that on her face. There we go. <laughs> Are you feeling better now, Brielle? Are you feeling better? Also, I just realized that Noah's gone to work. Didn't even notice. Okay, well, that's fine. He can earn some hard earned money. Not that we really need it. We do have 27,000, so we're doing pretty good. There we go, guys. She looks pretty content. She is very happy right now, and hopefully this face mask will make her feel even better. <laughs> right, we do actually... Okay, so she's actually in the second trimester now. Let's just schedule her prenatal visit. And she's actually coming down with something, so you know what? This is probably a good time to go to that actual visit, so... Let's have a look if we can get there today. Right, so off she goes to the OBGYN. I'm not going to take Noah just because he's at work. And this is just a checkup anyway, so I'm just going to let her do her thing. Oh, Henry, hello, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Henry definitely needs a bath when she gets back. Um, he is pretty filthy. Hopefully, he's going to um, his potty pad. Also, where did the door go down here? Ahem. Excuse me? <laughs> that was bizarre. <laughs> I was just like, where's the bloody archway gone? Oh my god, you are kidding me. Oh dear. Brielle has developed a pregnancy complication called preeclampsia. She will need to monitor her blood pressure by eating healthy, hydrating, exercising, and if need be, taking anti-hypertensive anti medication. But overall, pregnancy should progress without major issues, though there is an increased risk of induction or C-section. No, we want to have a home birth. Um, Brielle can fill the prescription for anti-hypertensive medication from the pharmacy online. Oh no. Okay, right. We'll quickly do that when she gets home then. Get the medication ordered because I do not want to have any risks with this. Um, this is her first baby. I want them to have a happy, healthy pregnancy. So let's get the anti-hypertensive medication. And I don't think she needs to take it right now, so we're okay. Um, can we quickly give henry a little bath because he's very 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 dirty i like how she went to her appointment by the way with the mask on her face brielle gives no shits no shits were given that day we also really need to sort the garden out that is another thing we need to do right little henry boy i'll tell you what ask him to go to the party because he needs to learn to use this anyway good boy henry good boy and then give him a bath because he is filthy Okay, here we go, guys. She's just giving Henry a little bath. Getting all ready for her motherly duties when the baby arrives. No, it's not quite the same, but it's practice. It's something. Uh, Noah's been feeling really confident and self-assured lately. Noah is ready to go out and tackle anything. And Bruce the chick. Yeah, sure, he can be self-assured. Oh, guys, he also got a promotion. He's been promoted to a blogger and will make an additional £7 an hour for a grand total of £32 an hour. And we also got £407 bonus and a Milton word processor. Okay. Noah is doing pretty good. He is succeeding. I'm going to get him to come in here and actually do a little bit of laundry because we haven't done it for a little while. So we probably should get on top of that. And I'm pretty sure... The chickens are going to be okay now, I think. Maybe just put some more food out for them. Oh, actually, I think we've got simple living on this lot, haven't we? So we could probably do with keeping those eggs. And I'm just going to get them to get her to clean out the spoiled food and probably just get leftovers. And then I'm going to get her to work on a logic skill ready for work. 
if we have time before she has to sleep because it's not looking good for her. There is a chicken in my living room. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Actually, you know what? C you can continue the chicken wings. Do it. That That's fine. Apricot chicken wings sounds pretty good, to be fair. Okay, so she has actually finished those. Oh my god, they look delicious. They actually look pretty good. I have to say. Uh, okay, let's just quickly eat a serving of that. Noah, why are you in bed already? It's 9pm. Why don't you come grab some food as well? Okay, can we... Can we just talk about how freaking cute Noah is? He was actually, for those of you who haven't seen the previous parts, he was actually a townie. Um, so he was already pre-generated and I've just gave him a makeover and he is literally like probably one of the cutest male sims that I've had in one of my games. He's super cute. I love him. Oh, Brielle, you stinky. Brielle, you stinky. Oh, Henry, hello, buddy. What's wrong? Give him a little treat because he's he's very, very cute. And then I'm going to get Noah to like just put this away so at least we have like leftovers if we need them. Was that the washing machine that was done? Yes, it was. Okay. Uh, you know what? It's actually quite like it's cool outside. So I feel like we could actually probably put it on the washing line. Yeah. Okay. You go have your shower then. Did you not even give him a treat? Like why... <sighs> What, what's he doing? Oh, he's so cute though. Okay, once she has a shower, then she can go and like, give him some attention, but she's a bit, uh, what? What are you doing? No, have your shower. There's a counter there, Noah. What, what are you doing? Oh, look at this little cutie bean. Look at him. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. Brielle's baby is healthy and active, but she sure felt that. That's a good thing. Now, what trimester is she in? Okay, so she's in third trimester in six hours, which is awesome. So that means the baby is well and truly on its way, um, which is super exciting. Right, can we like give him a little bit of attention? I feel like he's feeling a bit left out. Okay, Brielle, go and get yourself some well-earned rest. There you go. Oh my God. Your property taxes are a week overdue. You've got three weeks left to pay them or your name will be in the papers. Oh, sugar. Uh, the total cost is 20,628. Oh! <gasps> Okay, I am incredibly glad that I did the nursery before this because otherwise I would have had no... Oh my god, I've got bills as well. Right, that's fine. Let's just pay them off so that we're not having to worry about it when the baby comes because I think that'll be the last thing that we need. Oh, it's baby time! Uh, no, wait. No, 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 no. Hang on. We wanted to have the home birth. Oh my god, what did that just say? No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Oh, come on. Really? I wanted her to have a home birth. Brielle needs to go to the hospital. The baby needs to be induced. Oh, right. Okay, well, scrap that plan then. We'll have to go to the hospital then, guys, unfortunately. Maybe the next baby we can have as a home birth. Because I do want them to have more than one child. So that's kind of the plan. I don't think I've ever had that happen where it's been like, oh, she needs to be induced. So interesting it's go time okay what, what are actually these things saying first time giving birth this is the first time brielle will give birth and it's exciting but also stressful high blood pressure oh shit okay so it's a pregnancy comp okay it probably is a good job then that we did actually uh come to the hospital okay so we are gonna get her to come over here and do some breathing exercises just real quick um and noah where have you gone you can nip to the bathroom and then you're gonna come in here and be with your your girlfriend who is definitely in labor right now here we go guys she's gonna do a little breathing exercises while she uh waits till she's 10 centimeters oh brielle you sweetheart I, f I feel like at this point she'll be like really worried about like how she's gonna be a mom and like how how well she's gonna do but honestly brielle i think you're gonna be fantastic i think she is gonna be a really really good mom and i think noah's gonna be a fantastic dad as well like i, I just get that kind of vibe from them oh God, guys, the waters have broken. The waters have broken. Okay, so there doesn't seem to actually be an option regarding, like, being induced. So I think we just have to kind of wait it out and do it as normal. But I just hope that's okay with the baby and everything. Noah's got work? Are you joking? Uh, Noah, I don't think so. Can you call in sick or, like, take the day off? I mean, your baby's being born. Call in a fake sick to work. I do not condone this behaviour, but Noah, right now... It's baby time. Oh! oh, for Christ's sake. You don't sound sick. Come to work or you may not have a job when you come back. Are you joking? 
Okay, you know what? She's only one centimetre dilated. So it's going to take a while, guys. I may send him to work and just send him straight back here afterwards. But then at the same time, like, she's in labour, dude. It could be a very, very risky choice. But I'm thinking we're not going to work today. Which is going to have an effect on his performance. But unfortunately, I think the baby comes first. But then again, oh, he did say he might lose his job. Oh, I don't know. I'm in a right predicament here. Noah, what the hell are you doing? Hey! I'm a close sentiment towards someone feeling bad. Seeing that someone Noah cherishes is suffering makes him sad. Oh, is that Brielle because she's in labour? They're deeply connected. They've got a jamtastic gift. Smitten. Oh, so sweet. He's smitten with her. You are my jam. Oh my god, that's so cute. That is far too cute. I'm really concerned about the blood pressure thing. It says that drinking water could help, so I might get her to get some water as well. Because I'm just scared it's going to, like, have an effect. Okay, uh-oh. What's this? Oh, God, okay, I thought it was something bad then. Contractions are coming faster now. The baby's arrival is getting closer. Brielle can't help but worry about what if something goes wrong. Um, Will the baby be all right? What if she's not as strong as she thought? What if Brielle stops herself from thinking about all the what-ifs and just try to breathe? She still knows how to do that right. Yes, you're fine. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to ask Noah for a back massage on the gym ball because, you know, we, you need to be helping with something, Noah. I mean, it takes two to tango. Oh, bless them. Oh, she's struggling, guys. She is struggling. Noah's like, what do I do? Help. Oh, look at these cutie beans. Oh, I love these two. They're so sweet. They are actually so sweet. I cannot wait to see what the kid looks like. I mean, with their genetics, it's, it's going to be good, guys. It's got to be good. You're doing great, Brielle. You're doing great. Okay, I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like... Oh. Oh! <gasps> Noah! What is happening? He's fighting with the bloody midwife. Oh, right, okay. No, 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 no. Right. Noah... Was that necessary? Alessandra feels wrong by Noah. Oh, this isn't good. If she's the person that's going to deliver our child and you're shouting and yelling at her, Noah, that's not a good start. Okay, you know what? I think it's about time that we ask for the epidural, actually. Let's hope it works, because it does have a tendency to fail. So let's see if we get it right first try. Did it work? No, it failed. Fabulous. Okay, we're going to have to ask her to replace it again. <laughs> okay, please do it right this time because I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> also, my legs are coming through the side of the bed, which is interesting. Does it work? Yes, there we go. Okay, so she's got her pain relief. She is dealing with a lot of self-doubt right now, apparently. And Noah has disappeared, and I don't know why. Can you please get in here? Because you kind of just left your wife to do it all on her own. Not wife, they're not even married. Oh, God, that's another thing we need to do, guys. We need to get them married. Brielle, honey, you're doing amazing. Oh, now you show up, Noah. Okay. <laughs> Look at his face. Are you actually going to check on her and make sure she's okay? Or at least, like, take her mind off things or something? Just express your admiration for her and how, like, proud you are that she's doing so amazing. Noah. Really? Can you please do that? Can you express your admiration for her? Because she is literally going to be pushing out your child very soon okay so show some appreciation right you know what we didn't actually ask him to accompany the childbirth which i need to do because otherwise he won't actually interact at the same time as like the birth and he's just like of course i'm not gonna let you do it on your own absolutely not what is going on here i'd love to be there and support you yeah too right noah you know what you can give me another back massage <laughs> She's in a lot of pain. Do your you do your part, okay? Do your part. Okay, Alessandra's actually gone home now, so hopefully Noah won't be having a fight with her anymore. Is he feeling tired? Yeah, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get him to have a little nap on the bench while we wait to find out how dilated she is because obviously he might as well just relax until it's baby time. Oh, God, she's eight centimetres, guys. Okay, I'm going to get her to do a bit more exercising. 
on the, the little ball again because she's very close guys she's very close why don't you have a little chat with your midwife you know talk about like what to do when you're the first time mom and how nervous you are and stuff so discuss interests um what else can we do small talk get to know her oh she's cheerful oh that's nice actually she does look pretty cheerful to be fair um ask if she has children that's a good question do you have any babies Yes, I'm a parent. I have one child. Oh, I feel like Brielle would be like, okay, so I need tips. <laughs> Help me. What else can we ask? Share photos. She's like, look, look, this is the baby. This is its little, um, can you hear its heartbeat? And she's like, oh, it's amazing. It's so nice. Oh, bless her. She's exhausted. Meanwhile, Noah just sleeps on a bench. <laughs> look at him. He's literally perfection, actual perfection. I think that's the first time ever I've had like an NPC that I've sort of given a, little, a makeover to and they look that freaking good. Like what? He's, he's like sculptured. I mean, look at that jaw. He's sculpted by like a, a Greek god or something. He looks incredible. I, I cannot get over it. I, I may have a slight crush on Noah. <laughs> okay, ask her to check your dilation again and hopefully, fingers crossed, you'll be 10 centimeters. Oh no, nine. So if we do a little breathing exercise again, hopefully then. Come on, Brielle, you're doing amazing. You're doing absolutely amazing, girl. Keep going. Keep going. You got this. Okay, guys, guys, it's baby time. It is baby time. Right, I definitely want her to deliver the baby because she's been like the best midwife. Guys, guys, it's happening. Hey, Noah, get back here right now. Oh, here we go, guys, it's happening. It's happening, guys. She's having the baby. Oh, look at Noah's face. Come on, Brielle, push. You got this. She's just like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Noah, help. Oh, you're doing amazing, Brielle, keep going. Oh, God, the baby. I don't know why it has a completely different skin tone, but that's probably just Sims. It's a girl. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I feel like I need to find, like, a really nice name for the Sim. Okay, I think I'm going to go with Luna. I really like that name. So, yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Luna Rosewood, and that's really cute. Um... If you like it, let me know. If you don't, maybe we can change it. But for now, that is what I'm going to call her. And here we go, guys. So this is what I mean. This is kind of odd. So this, the baby had like a different skin tone when it was born. Now she's got like a normal skin tone that matches the parents. But then down here, she's got a different skin tone. So I, I think it's just a Sims glitch, I think. Oh, no. Soreness everywhere. It might be embarrassing to admit, but Brielle feels sore both above and below. Well, that's understandable considering, you know, you've... Just had a baby. I wish things could have gone differently, but she supposes she should be happy. She and the offspring made it home safe. Still, it wasn't what was planned, and that's always disappointing. Oh, bless her. She's also upset because she's not brushed her teeth in 24 hours. Love, you were in labor. I mean, come on now. So I'm gonna get him to go and get some food, and I'm gonna get her. Can you get changed out of your hospital gown, please? I don't think you want to be walking around the house like that. And as you can see, very realistically, she has gained some baby weight. So we will sort of try and aim to get her back to her normal sort of size, but it's not really a big priority because let's be honest, she's just had a baby. Um, there is no immediate rush. Let's just focus on making sure that she is healthy and the baby's healthy as well. But yeah, guys, this is little Luna. What a little cutie. <laughs> oh, she's so good. Um, so yeah, guys, just let me know what you think of the name. Also, I definitely forgot to call in to work which is a bit of an issue and you know what i'm gonna get to work on the logic skill because let's be honest we've been trying to do this for i don't even know how long and i am not answering the phone because that is my boss we do however need to look after the chickens because we haven't done that in a little while oh no well what did you do okay and then you can repair that as well now that you've flooded the kitchen oh look at this little guy oh hi henry <laughs> there he goes <laughs> This family is so cute. Like, I just can't cope with the cuteness. Like, let's be honest. Look, look at this little guy. Look at this little guy. Right, let's just get Noah to sort the chickens. There we go. Did we get any hatchable eggs or did we just get 
No, we just got standard ones. Okay, I'm just gonna sell those. Uh, you know what I might do actually? That could be quite sweet. So what? when do they grow? Oh, fall and spring. So when we get back to like fall and spring, I'm gonna get him to plant those, um, the roses. Because they're the roses that they gave each other. Why is the chickens in the kitchen? Oh, now Henry's filthy. Oh, fabulous. Tell him off for that first. Repair that. Then go sort out the dead plants. <laughs> and then we're going to have to give Henry a little uh, a little bath because he is looking extremely dirty right now. Oh my god, what? Riel just noticed a meteor is heading right for her. She should seek shelter and quick... What? Is this a joke? Oh my god, just get inside quick. I, I don't trust it. Okay, Noah likes handiness, that's fine. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, no! Please! <laughs> oh no! I have never. I didn't even know that was a thing! Guys, we've just lost our Gen 1 founder! <laughs> is this a joke? Brianna Harkins, this is the midwife, by the way, thinks Brielle Rosewood is swell and wants to become best friends. I think it's a bit late for that, if I'm perfectly honest. Oh no! Okay, if I don't laugh. I would cry. I'm gonna have to, oh my, I don't believe this guys. I do not believe this. Noah is now a single parent. He's a single parent. He has to run this house on his own. I have the worst look. Oh my God, I am honestly, now I know a lot of people will probably be like, oh, just reload the save, but I don't wanna do that. I literally want to just play it out as the game is intending it to play out. But I am heartbroken right now. Guys, I am so sorry. I know it's not really my fault, but you guys were so attached to Brielle and so was I. And now she just got hit by a meteor. I am literally shook right now. I don't even know what to say. I'm literally speechless. I can't believe that just happened. Okay, well, I guess now it's just uh, Noah and Luna. And little Henry. So he's now going to have to raise Luna on his own. Which was not what I was intending. And also it means that they're not going to have to have any other children. So Luna is officially our Gen 2 heir. So I'm going to have to work extra hard to keep these two alive now. I can't believe that just happened. Right, so I am actually going to get Noah to request bereavement leave. Because I feel like he needs some time with his daughter. Even though she's only a baby. I think... Um, why are these people just randomly in my house? Can you leave, please? Like, I'm dealing with some stuff right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get him to request bereavement leave just because we will have to go to the funeral and stuff and also it gives him time to grieve and also spend some extra time with his daughter. I feel like that was the universe's way of saying that I should never have made Brielle actually try to gain that logic skill or it took her so long to do it and then as soon as I got her to try and do it, she died. That's got to be some sort of like sick joke from the universe, right? Okay, so I'm going to get him to quickly do some laundry as well because I feel like there's some leftover in the house. I also don't know how we're going to actually run this house now because, you know, we're only on a one like one wage now. So, and it's quite a big house. So if we start to struggle with bills and like the lot taxes and stuff, because it was like 20 grand last time, we might have to move to a smaller house, guys, unfortunately, which I didn't foresee because obviously was not expecting Brielle to pass away. But it may be the situation, guys, we may have to. I'm gonna let him have a little nap on the sofa. Because let's be honest, he is heartbroken right now. They didn't even get to get married, which is just devastating. But you know what? Unfortunately, life is too short and you never know what's around the corner. So we're gonna have to just roll and adapt with it. So I'm gonna let him have a little nap and then we're actually gonna start working on his career stuff because I wasn't focusing on his career too much because of Brielle. Um, but now we're really gonna have to, guys, because for us to live in this house, it's gonna be a lot of money. There's also just a chicken in my kitchen. Excuse me. What are you doing? Who is this? 
Salsa. Okay, Salsa's just wandering around the house. All right. Oh my God, there's another one. Now Pierre's here to join. Oh Lord. Okay, he has had a little nap, but however, it hasn't actually done much for him. So I think I'm just going to have to get him to focus on his needs today and then we'll have to sort out his writing skill and stuff on another day, I think. Because right now it's not looking so good. I'm going to get him to feed the baby before he goes to bed. I can't believe this. Honestly, I'm actually shook right now. I was actually thinking to myself, maybe I jinxed it, but I was thinking to myself that it's um not like anything really exciting is up happening too much in this at the moment. It's quite chilled. It's, you know, standard family gameplay. It's not like my nightmare legacy where it's like chaos around every corner. And then two seconds later, she gets hit by a meteorite. Like, what was that? But anyway, guys, I think I'm going to leave this part here on kind of a sad note. Um, it is now officially just Noah and Luna and them trying to survive each day on their own. And yeah, I guess we will have to just see what happens over the next couple of parts. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this part and I know it was a little bit shocking and unexpected, but hopefully um, you guys have still enjoyed it and I will uh, see you in the next part. Goodbye guys.